Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode. This right here is the best advice you will get on YouTube for pursuing a career with your drone. Now, just one man's opinion, but I will have my credentials coming up. So you're a beginner drone pilot with an entry level drone like the Mini 2, which is what I have. I don't want you to think that you need to save up and get a big expensive drone like the Mavic in order for you to start making money with your drone. The Mini 2 is absolutely capable of professional quality results. So you can start your career right now. I wrote for you your new six step game plan to start making money with your drone. Before we go through it, I just want to give you a little overview on my current journey of making money with my drone because it's a little unique. If you want to skip right to the six step game plan, just go to this timestamp right here. I'm turning 51 years old in several months. A videographer is actually my fifth professional career. I spent a few years in the finance industry then I worked at two different technology startups for a few years. Then I worked with developmentally disabled adults for several years. It all could be California girl. Then I actually launched my own design company. After that, I finally picked up a camera, which was not too long ago. And I immediately knew I wanted to travel the world and film for charities. I had already gone through the whole kind of materialism and luxury brands thing. So I sold everything I own and I now live out of my backpack. <laughs> my bank account is perpetually at zero, but I am the happiest, healthiest, most successful person you'll ever meet. But let's get back to the topic at hand. So here is your six step game plan to establishing your new career with a drone. Print it out and read it every day. Now, there's no magic in these six steps. They may seem pretty obvious. The magic is in your dedication to consistency over time, period. That is your key to success. These six steps applied consistently over time, I guarantee your financial success within 12 months, 18 months. All right, so after we go through the game plan, I want to give a quick word about getting licensed with your drone because having to get a drone license is actually a major advantage for you. But more on that later, let's get started. Step number one, build your skill sets. Every drone flight, I want you to try and be just 1% better, less just aimless flying around. Now you can still do that once in a while, of course, but if you're committed to starting a career with your drone, you need to put yourself firmly on a path of improvement and some discipline. And have fun with it though. Don't be scared by words like commitment and discipline. Now, the best way to improve your skills is to learn composition. Photo composition pertains to video as well. I put a link down below to probably the Bible on composition. So just find a cheap paperback edition. Once you learn those basics of composition, now you can practice with more intention. Now you're practicing with a specific goal instead of just aimlessly flying around and not really improving. This is called deliberate practice. This is intentional practice leading to a specific goal. Even if you can only practice just one battery per day, set your intention for that flight. Meaning, what do you want to specifically improve during that flight? So when you get home and you review the footage for your next time, look for areas you can improve. Now, please know this. Beginners think that their skills are holding them back from making money with a drone, but that's not the case. Skills are the easy part. You only need a very minimum quality proficiency to start getting paying clients. And with today's 4K drones and easy editing software, it's so easy to get to that minimum quality threshold to start pitching clients. So quality, that's the easy part. The keys to your success of a career with a drone is in steps four, five, and six. We'll get to that later. Number two, start to identify your niche. Now, I'm sure you've heard that before, but I have a few things to add here. So, 
pick an industry that you want to specialize in if it's weddings or motorsports or real estate. Now, some people know right off the bat, they definitely want to do real estate or they definitely want to do weddings. That's fine. Other professionals started out not knowing their niche. It's important to just try a whole bunch of things until something really resonates for you. It just feels right. You're good at it. You love to do it. And there's a demand in your area for that. There's businesses willing to pay for it. If you're thinking of real estate, film or photograph some friends' fancy houses. See how you like that. Um, even if you, there's some houses in your neighborhood and you don't know them, knock on their door. Ask them for free. You'll photograph and do some video clips. That'll really help build a portfolio. Friends getting married? Ask if you could be the, the drone guy, the B camera to your friend's wedding. Now this is important. Once you've found an industry that you think you might want to specialize in, find a mentor. Find someone who is doing exactly what you want to do and be their unpaid assistant. Learn all you can from an expert. This can save you years of learning mistakes when you shadow a pro. So find a mentor. Now, you don't need a portfolio to find a mentor. Just put together a simple highlight video with a few minutes of some of your best shots. That's it. You don't need business cards. You don't need a fancy portfolio. The mentor will know right away if you are valuable to them or not. Just offer to work for free and be reliable. Okay, now here's a few general ideas for potential business niches if you're not sure yet. I'll go through them quickly because steps four, five, and six, those are the really important steps for success. So here's some industry ideas for you. Now identify special interests or features in your town. Like if you live near water, um, there's lots of boats and marinas, uh, find fishing charter companies, um, find boat sales companies, Find some really rich guys that go out with their buddies and uh, they want you to film some really cool aerial shots. You can make a lot of money with that kind of thing. If the car scene is big in your town, you like a cars and coffee meet up every weekend, that's a great opportunity. Guys will spend big money to take like aerial shots of their fancy cars. Or maybe there's vineyards in some of your nearby neighborhoods. Go to Facebook groups in your town, find industry niches. And if you don't see drone shots on those Facebook pages, perfect potential clients. Maybe music videos is your niche. <laughs> I did that recently. I put a, an ad on Craigslist for free music video using only my drone. And oh, it was so much fun. My drone only, and uh, I shot a full vid music video and the musician and I are now friends. Reach out to musicians in your city or in your town. Find who's already doing music videos and offer to be their B or C camera with a drone. Thinking about weddings? Reach out to wedding planners, event planners in your town. Go on Facebook. Uh, it's a great place to find uh, through the Chamber of Commerce uh, and speak with them. Real estate, very popular. A lot of money in real estate, but also a lot of competition. So if you really want to do that, again, start out by filming three or four friends' houses and really start to build a portfolio that way. Referrals are really big in the real estate business. So if you can get a couple of big referrals, that could really make your career. So the key there is to be reliable, be dependable, and be easy to work with. It'll be much more likely that you'll get referrals. And there's just hundreds of small businesses in every town. Yoga, yoga instructors doing outside classes, uh, catering companies holding outside events, um, companies that do like landscaping or pools that need kind of aerial shots, um, furniture designers, uh, restaurants, endless companies that could use drone shots. If you're an outdoor person, contact your local parks department. They could use your footage. Maybe there's camping companies that uh, could film local sports events. Now, I know it's illegal to fly over large crowds, but you could film from a distance. Family sports, little leagues, soccer games, things like that. Lastly, things like uh, contractors, uh, roof inspections, land surveying, digital mapping. Super boring, but 
could be extremely lucrative. It just depends if that kind of business is in your town or not. Maybe a little harder to find them, but a big opportunity, and I think there's a lot less competition in those kinds of industries. Does that sound like a lot of work? A lot of hustle? <laughs> a lot of guys are complaining the drone industry is super saturated now. Well, everything's saturated. Every industry is a hustle. You gotta work hard no matter what. And the drone industry is no different. Every time you got free moments on your nights, weekends, lunch hour, put it into building this business. I have more coming up later on the sales presentation like pitching and also the business side of it, more coming up later on that. Step three, building a simple portfolio. So at this point, you should have picked your industry that you're thinking of specializing in and have two or three successful shoots completed. Now, they can be free shoots for friends or family at this point, but as long as they're in a specific industry and the results are good, they don't have to be great, just good enough to build a portfolio. And building a portfolio is super easy these days. In like an hour or two, you can build a free portfolio website on Wix or Squarespace. Now, a very common mistake beginners make here is they put too much content on their portfolio website. All you need is three or four short clips, five or six pictures, that's it. As long as they're in a specific industry and they're good enough, that's all you need. Now, once you build your portfolio, you need to get some feedback on it. Now, friends and family may not be the best source for brutally honest feedback. They may not want to hurt your feelings. Ideally, you want to show your uh, new web your new website portfolio to people that are in the industry that you're looking to break into to give you some constructive criticism. That's ideal. And you should be super excited at this point. You've got your skills built up, you've got your industry chosen, you've got your portfolio built, and it is time to start making money and growing your career. Sales and business practices, that's gonna be a whole separate video coming up, but I do have a few things that I wanna say here. I am a true expert in this. Over 30 years experience in New York City in some very competitive industries, I definitely learned from the best of the best. Here is where your video skill level is not the most important factor to your success. Someone who is super talented in photo and video can fail miserably in business if they're unorganized, unreliable, unprofessional, they're just not pleasant to work with, they will definitely fail. Paying clients just wanna know that you're proficient at your craft, you don't have to be the best, but you do have to be reliant reliable and pleasant to work with. Paying clients want good quality, 100% reliable and fun to work with. That relieves their stress. Small business owners are super stressed. So if you can make them feel a little at ease, you will win their business. You can even say in your sales pitch to them, look, I'm not the greatest videographer, but I am 100% reliable. I deliver you a good product at my very fair price. I promise you, I will work hard to win your repeat business. That's what they wanna hear. Make them feel comfortable with their decision choosing you. That takes a little bit of people skills and pitching, and I'll have a lot more videos on that coming up, I promise, but that's what you need to know. Don't be scared that your skills aren't good enough because skills are the easy part. I have a lot more to say about this coming up in future videos on how to pitch yourself to clients, how to get sales, how to stay organized with your calendar, your emails, um, especially your media, like your folders, your uh, staying organized digitally with different client projects, tagging, backing up all your storage. I call that client sales and business practices. Moving on, repetition is the key to success in developing your new career with your drone. This is a really important mindset to have for success. Listen, you have a full-time job right now, you have family obligations, so it can be hard to find the time on nights and weekends to devote to this new career, this side hustle. So here's where you really have to build healthy habits to stay consistent to your practice, repetition. I have future videos coming up on this, on staying consistent to your practice, building healthy business habits. 
but the bottom line is making a weekly commitment to yourself about how many batteries of deliberate practice with your drone you're actually going to do. Actually getting 1% better with your video quality with every drone flight. Really pushing yourself to finalize your industry you want to specialize in, then finalizing your portfolio, then pitching yourself to clients. All that consistency over time, that's your success. Lastly, your reputation. It's crucial. This whole journey to build your new career, your new side hustle with your drone, you must know that the foundation of your success or your failure is your reputation. It sounds obvious, but common knowledge isn't always common practice. So have integrity with everything you do. When you tell a potential new client that you're gonna call them at Tuesday at 11 o'clock, don't be a minute late. If you're filming something for friends or family and you tell them it'll be finished on Thursday, finish on Wednesday. It's so easy and common to not have an integrity standard when it comes to friends and family because they're not paying you and they won't be mad if it's a day or two late. Don't do that. How you do one thing is how you do everything. Hold your word with everything you do, everything you say. The actual quality of your portfolio, that doesn't matter. That's easy to improve. <laughs> but trying to fix a bruised reputation, that's impossible. Especially if it's a small town or a small industry, that could end the career. And conversely, a great reputation, that could instantly make your career. One great referral, you're off to the races and really change your life. So that's your six point game plan. If all that seems burdensome or heavy, you can absolutely change your mindset on that. This should be exciting and fun. Just take one thing at a time, one step at a time, and I guarantee you, you can really find excitement in accomplishing each of those goals. Now, let's talk about getting licensed because having to get a drone license is your major advantage. Millions of drones are sold every year by now. So it can be said that the commercial drone industry is oversaturated with guys looking to make money. But it's estimated that less than 1% of drone owners actually bother to get licensed. So needing a license is not a hassle, it's actually a major advantage for you. So change your mindset of it being a burden to being an advantage. There's really easy courses that you can take that'll help make sure that you pass that test. And once you make that commitment to get licensed and then you actually pass the test, the excitement and your commitment to yourself, your conviction, oh, it's, it's endless. You really feel reinforced and excited. So if you have any questions on that, leave them down below. I've got a lot more videos coming out. I'm going through each of those six things individually, but I wanted to share that with you. I'm as excited as you are. Please share all of your successes, all of your failures. Let's get through it together. I'll see you in the next episode.